hi guys how are you all doing welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be starting off with a new video series and we're going to build microservices using spring boot and then we're going to also look at deploying them and running them on docker containers we're going to start off with very basics so i'm going to install intellij create a new spring project using spring initializer then install and configure my java and then i'm going to create a simple rest controller and test that in my browser we are going to also look at Docker containerization. So I'm going to install Docker in my Ubuntu and then install Docker Composer and Docker Station. And we are going to create a Docker file and then create a Docker image and push that image to Docker Hub. So let's get started. We are going to start off by downloading and installing IntelliJ. So I have gone to the JetBrains website and I'm going to download the community edition. Okay, so the download for the IntelliJ has finished. And we're going to copy it and extract it. So I usually put all my tools in one location. And I've called the folder DevTools. So I'm just going to copy that over there and extract it. Okay, so I have extracted the files over there. I'm going to just get rid of the zip file. And I'm going to rename that and change that to idea. So we now have IntelliJ in the location that I want. I'm going to just go in there and just let's open this in terminal and I'm going to run my IntelliJ. I'm going to leave the color scheme as Dracula and leave all the other settings as it is. For plugins, I'm going to probably install them later when I need to. And let me just create a new project uh, to get started. I'm going to just choose an empty project for now. I'm just going to call it my app for now and just click finish. So the first, one of the first thing that I do after installing IntelliJ is go into tools and create a desktop entry. And what that will do is it will allow me to launch IntelliJ from here and I can just add that to my favorites. So now I have the IntelliJ shortcut appearing in my favorites so I could basically just close it and open it directly from my favorites rather than running it from my terminal. So close that one, close everything and let's just launch it from here. So first things first, we need to start off by creating a new Spring Boot project and there are a couple of ways to do it. You can either do that within the IDE or you can go to the Spring Initializer website and then create a project file from there. To do it from the IDE, you need to make sure that you have the Spring Assistant plugin installed. It can be installed in your community edition. And to check that, you just go to File, Settings and Plugins. And I have it installed already. So in my installed plugins, I have the Spring Assistant. So to create from the IDE, just go into File, New, Project and choose Spring Assistant and just choose the Spring Initializer Server as default. Then go Next. Put in all the information about your project over here and then go Next. And then you need to choose the dependencies that you need to download. So this is one way of doing it. So say I just choose Spring Web and go Next. And then I give the name of my project over here and click finish. And the other way of doing it is actually to go into the start.spring.io, which is the Spring Initializer website. And then you choose your project metadata. So choose a project type and I would leave it to default as Maven and language as Java. And then you choose your Spring Boot version and the project metadata. And also choose your Java version and then any of the dependencies you can add over here. For example, I'll just choose Spring Web 
and then once you choose all the stuff that you want you can just click on the generate file and it will create a zip file that you can straight away import into your id and the zip file will contain your pom.xml and you can import this directly into your IntelliJ ID. So we've covered up the installation of IntelliJ and creating of the Spring Boot project in this video and we'll cover the remaining topics in my next video. And thanks a lot for watching.